What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman aka All Fires just days after Marvel Studios makes a ton of official shifts to their upcoming slate. Sony has gone ahead and marked off two brand new dates in the next two years and because we already know what most of their slate looks like and what films are on the horizon we can pretty much tell which films these are in Venom 3 and Spider-Man 4. We're going to break down the latest and official dates today reported by Deadline for the upcoming Sony Spider-Verse slate. But first, if you could grab the subscribe button, we do daily Marvel content at the channel, and that's all we do. Everything from official Easter egg breakdowns, trailers, and reviews, to the occasional industry insider report, and everything in between. So if that sort of thing's for you, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below. That will automatically enter you to win our ongoing PS5 giveaway. The next one is right around the corner to coincide with the release of Secret Invasion. Again, all you got to do, be a sub, leave a comment on the this video if you want stick around to the end of the video we'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there okay so this story actually broke late on thursday afternoon coming from deadline under the headline sony holds 2024 and 2025 dates for marvel movies they go on to report quote sony has just reserved dates for untitled sony marvel movies november 8th 2024 and june 27th 2025 both will have access to imax screens let the speculation begin Currently, there's nothing against a Sony Marvel movie on November 8th date, Universal has an untitled film on November 1, and Warners has an untitled tentpole November 15th, with Paramount's Gladiator 2 on November 22nd. Sony will go head-to-head -head with an untitled Blumhouse film on June 27th, 2025, and a new Disney live-action take of Moana. Now, before we go rushing to pencil in these titles and crown one of them the Spider-Man 4 release date, we already have a pretty good idea of what's going on with Sony in their live-action. Currently, the next film will be released on October 6, 2023, that's Craven, followed by February 14, 2024, in Madam Web. They're also developing two live action Spider Man series that are confirmed Silk, Spider Society, and Spider Man Noir. Those are both set to go to Amazon, and these release dates are specifically for films. So there are only two likely films that could come out in November 8, 2024, knowing that Spider Man 4 will not be ready by that time. The first of which is Bad Bunny's Lead in El Muerto, which we just recently heard survived cancellation over at Sony, but more likely this is the release date for Venom 3, considering the original reported release window by Variety almost a year ago was right around October of 2024. November 8th is definitely close enough, so considering Venom 3 might start filming soon in the face of this actor strike that we still don't know if they're going to be able to steer out of, and at the 11th hour that's supposed to start on July 1st, if they get to filming, then that's the most likely release date for that, El Muerto's release date withstanding. Now, obviously, that leaves the June 27th, 2025 date up for grabs, and that, yes, is most likely Spider-Man 4. We know they're currently working on the script, or at least they were before the writer's strike went down. The writer's strike will not last forever, and whenever they resume, there presumably will still be plenty of time to finish the script, get everyone under contract, bring them back, and start filming in 2024. And of course, for Sony, who won't have released a Spider-Man movie since December of 2021, summer of 2025 is probably a little longer than they wanted, so I would be totally shocked if they'd wait any longer than that, and that that June 27th date would be for any other Sony Marvel movie other than Spider-Man 4. Now, for those of you who DM'd me or asked me about Tom Holland's recent quote that there's at least part of him who wants to walk away from the role of Spider-Man, keep in mind he's actually talked about this before and he's right in the middle of taking a year off because of a very traumatic role that he just played uh, for his most recent film. So I think there's a lot going on there. He's just basically talking out loud. He's also confirmed in multiple other interviews over the last two weeks that he is looking forward to coming back, that they've already started on the script, that it does look good so far. And while he was talking about maybe handing the baton to a younger guy, there's plenty of time for that. And Amy Pascal, longtime Spider-Man producer, actually spoke on that exact same thing on the same day that Tom Holland made that quote. And this is what she said about future films with Tom and also all these rumors about a live action Miles Morales. She said, there are plenty of films to make with Miles and there are plenty of films that we still want to make with Tom Peter Parker. So they are looking to prioritize both Spider-Men. So when Tom issued this exact quote just days ago, quote, I feel like we hit a home run with our first franchise. There's a part of me that wants to walk away with my head held high and pass the baton to the next lucky kid that gets to bring this character to life. It's not going to be mutual exclusion. They're not going to bring in Miles to usher out Peter Parker. They want to have both in live action. And while that's coming from Amy Pascal, so there's not a more official source on Earth than what Sony is looking to do with Spider-Man. She's involved in every live action production. Sony has not connected the dots for us in even once. 
Marvel Studios, you may argue, has been perpetually changing their schedule, delaying things and moving it around since their initial announcement in 2019, but at least we still know what it's all working towards, and we expect the delays and the changes at this point. It's just par for the course. We at least get an inkling into what they're doing. They show us, hey, we're in the middle of this saga and we're headed towards Avengers Secret Wars. Sony hasn't done any of this, and I would definitely argue that this latest Spider-Verse film, Across the Spider-Verse, did probably a better job of explaining what's going on with the Vulture and the rest of the Spider-Verse maybe than any of the MCU films ever have, but it would be really nice for Sony to go ahead, whether at San Diego Comic-Con or a different con as they were supposed to do at the end of last year and then canceled last minute, to come out and do a Marvel-type Hall H or a live presentation where they sort of do a loose slate announcement, show us what titles are coming all at once, drive some hype, and then show us what this is leading towards. So if it is actually a Spider-Geddon film on the horizon, we can sort of know how they all go together. I think it's way past time that Sony did this, and I also think it would really help the hype for however they're trying to connect this. But we'll have to wait and see if they're going to do one this year. Uh, generally, Spider-Man is not announced with San Diego Comic-Con, but I have a very small inkling that maybe they could make that happen as a part of their next slate announcement because we can be pretty sure that they're gonna fill in a lot of the dates between now and Secret Wars, and one of them, most likely this date in 2025, is going to be Spider-Man 4. But guys, let me know all your thoughts down below, how hyped you are for a live action Miles Morales, and do you think it would be too much if Spider-Man 4 does actually have Miles in it in the 616 universe? alongside Peter Parker. I'm really thinking that's probably what's going to happen. We're just going to have to wait and see. Let me know all your thoughts down below quickly. Let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. All right, we're still giving away a PlayStation 5. We're going to continue to do them here at the channel. Instead of subscriber milestones, we switched it to releases, which means Secret Evasion coming out in less than a week. We'll be giving away another PS5. If you want to be entered to win, all the same rules will always apply. Hit the subscribe button because you need to be a subscriber, then leave a comment down below. Because it's truly random, the more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. All winners will be announced at the end of videos the same way we're doing here. The best way to keep up with the content has always been to hit the notification bell with all notifications turned on. And as always, if you liked today's video, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button. My name's Michael Roman. You can find me in a couple of places, Instagram and Twitter, at Fires. You can also find me on Spotify, YouTube, Amazon, Apple, iTunes, wherever you listen to original music under the name Allfires. And while I sincerely appreciate you checking my music out, Thanks for checking this channel out. Stick around. We'll be posting again real, real soon.